guys! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is me, The Sukhafato. And recently, I've been getting a couple of questions around how to get a job. And that made me realize that I've actually had a couple of jobs in my life. So I kind of thought I'd share how I got those jobs. So if you find this video helpful or entertaining, please do give it a thumbs up. And please do subscribe. We are on the road to 30k. And if you have any questions or any comments or anything you'd like to add, maybe you want to share how you got your job, please drop it in the comment section. And yeah, let us get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna start off with my first ever job and then all the way to where I am now. So it all started right after my trick. So I finished my trick in 2017 and that December already I started working. Like I didn't waste any time, the hustle just started right after high school. So um, I worked at Soshanguva Crossing, uh, so that's a mall and you know those like for the Christmas uh, displays, yeah not Santa guys, this is South Africa, but you know when they have for the Christmas and the kids come to take a picture with for the Christmas. So sometime through high school I've been doing this YouTube thing for such a long time. So I got a camera and luckily I knew some people that were doing this um, set up and they were looking for someone with a camera and I was there. So yeah, so I went there I, I think it was like three weeks I worked three weeks straight from the time the mall opened all the way till the mall closed guys three weeks just every single day working taking pictures of the kids with Father Christmas and Father Christmas scares those kids and then they cry and oh it was a whole lot but you know when you get the money then it's like okay it was all worth it in the end so that's that was my first ever job working at that for the Christmas display at Soshenguva Crossing. Throughout my first year, I didn't really work. I was focusing on school because guys, it was the first time that school was throwing hands and I was like, I need to focus. Like, so I was trying to focus on school. But when school was coming to an end at the end of first year, I'm like, mm, I feel like I need a job. I need some money. So I actually went to the Grove Mall. I printed out my CV and I went to the different shops to hand out my CV. And guys, what an experience. Like some places don't even want to take your CV. TV. some of them will be like oh we have an online platform applied there but some of them were like no we're not hiring and it's so sad because i'm like just take it just take. i get my head i was just wishing they would just take it even if they throw it away when i'm gone just the fact that they took it would actually make me feel better but yeah so i just walked around all the different places and i went to a store called gen x so gen x um it's not there at the grove anymore it was a store that sold uh kids branded clothing so they took my cv like oh, okay cool i uh, will let you know and i think like the following day or a couple of days after they called me uh, to come for an interview and I went there for the interview I was so nervous I think it was like my first ever like official like job interview I was so nervous but yeah so I went and I got the job and I was still writing exams then so they asked me when I'm gonna finish I let them know and the day I finished exams they told me to come for training so yeah I went I finished my exam I remember I wrote geology that day and it threw hands and I still had to go to work now for training so I went there I was standing and it was a lot guys retail is a lot you have to like stand a lot of like they don't want you to lean against the things you have to stand interact with customers it's a whole lot of work so yeah I did my training and the worst part is that my first official day of work was Black Friday 2018 I will never forget because it was so hectic because people are just there shopping things on sale it's my first official day it was so like oh guys but I did it and I got paid 20 rands an hour I think it was okay Hey, those days <laughs> but yeah like it was a lot like yo after my first day because I worked like the whole day there were no like shifts so if I started at 9 a.m. when the mall opens I'm gonna leave at like and those I remember Black Friday had like extended hours I think I finished at like 8 and like my back my knees I feel like any part of my body that could hurt hurt and it was a lot but you know once the money starts coming in I'm like okay maybe it is worth it <laughs> you know I even got a smiley piercing and yeah so I worked that December 2018 at Gen X The Grove and yeah it was a great experience I've also shared a video about that and yeah I think it was a whole lot of character building and you know um I think so for like these jobs my first two jobs kind of helped like it was so much work it made me realize like you know when you work for the money, it makes you think when you start spending it. You don't just go recklessly doing like, hey, 
I kind of stood so many hours for like 200 rands. Let me see, let me think about it before I spend uh, it. My second year in 2019, I did not work because as I mentioned, first year was kind of rough. So second year, I'm like, let me focus on these books because I'm trying to pass. And 2019, I never failed any module. I did okay in school. So I think it paid off. And then it was uh, 2020, my final year. So my 20... 20 was kind of a shaky year so it start off, started off with me not really knowing how I'm gonna go back to school and I got to a point where I posted on my Twitter like asking for donations to go back to school and somewhere throughout the tweet someone reached out to me like hey um, I had my portfolio in my bio they're like hey I saw your portfolio can you send your CV and I sent them my CV and that's when I got my first job uh, in like web development what I was cut like related to what I was studying uh, by the way I study computer science at the University of Pretoria if you don't know but yeah so that's me with my degree every time I get a chance to point it out I'm gonna point it out <laughs> but yeah so final year um, I think this was around March so I sent my CV and I started freelancing as a web developer and yeah I did that for about three months and yeah so i got paid per hour for so they'd send me work to do that send me a brief tell me what's required and i'd work on that and send it back and so um for that i got paid per hour something i forgot to mention uh in december 2019 um i was part of this group called i know a guy on facebook and some lady was looking for a promo person for her business to kind of stand she was going to be exhibiting at a stand and she wanted someone to stand at her stand <laughs> and like talk to the people so like i gave her my details or i reached out to her or something like that and she was like oh okay i actually found someone but i see you have some like web development experience so um, I might need that so I'm just gonna keep your CV on hand but I'm not gonna need you for the promo and I'm like oh okay and then on the day the promo was supposed to happen she called me she's like the person that's supposed to come is not here would you be able to come and it wasn't joy work and I'm like let me make a plan lady I'm coming then I actually went there so I got paid and I did like I was there the promo person telling people about the product and after that um she hired me to be her graphic designer but she, it was only a couple of months later so it was the same time when I was doing the web development work I was also working as a graphic designer so it was also around March May uh, 2020 like during the pandemic when it was at its peak I was hustling I was hustling so uh, that's when I kind of got familiar with Canva because I think she paid me about like 60 rands per design and I would use Canva so she would use them for social media so yeah it was good I was working as a web developer I was doing um, the graphic design work I don't know if I can call it that but that's what I called it and yeah so that was my job during my final year and guys let me tell you final year was hard but tell me why I was this busy because in uh, towards the end of my final year, a friend of mine sent me, um, they had posted a job in one of their module group chats and like, hey, so you study computer science, right? Uh, this person's looking for like, there's a computer science job and they sent me the screenshot of the job and I sent my CV to that email. They called me for an interview and I went. So this was for an IT internship. So this was in November 2020. I had stopped working the web development job and I had stopped working the graphic design job. So um, I went there for the interview and they hired me on the spot and I was like, look at me. I felt nice. I felt good, <laughs> you know, and the money was good as well. I was getting paid 400 rand per day and it was the most I had ever made that time I was like okay this is nice this is nice and that was really good as well and I think it was like the only time after the retail work and stuff it was like the only time I've worked in person for like any of my um like work that I've studied for it's the first time it's like the only time I've ever worked in person for that kind of job so yeah I got that IT internship it, so I did that in November and December 2020 and yeah it was nice interacting with people it was a new and different experience so yeah so I got that I sent my CV and I think for these jobs what really helped me is uh, having a portfolio because um I really enjoyed just doing some projects for fun and 
for learning you know so i'd work on some websites i made a game and just different things i like even now when i look back i'm like i used to be real like i used to be serious now i need to get back to that because i used to do like a whole lot of my own projects so that really i think helped uh, me stand out so yeah at my t internship i was kind of just helping around in the office and also doing some web development work working on the email signature and stuff like that and yeah so i I really enjoyed that that was in November December 2020 in my final year I did fail one module but you know I had three jobs like throughout my final year here and there so maybe that had something to do with it but yeah so I had to write an exam I think it was Jan or Feb 2021 my final exam and yeah so then I finished and uh, in April I graduated but before I graduated um, I think my old company where I used to work as a web developer they found out that I had graduated so they asked me to send like my academic record and uh, I think it was also was it my CV as well but then they saw that I had now had experience with React Native so my final year project in school we worked with React Native and they liked that I had uh, React Native experience because they had a couple of projects that they were doing with React Native so that helped me get my first job so my final year project that I did in school so yeah so in March 2021 I got my first like official full-time job when I was like not a student I was working like nine to five like now I'm working for real so yeah so I worked there for seven months and then I applied on OfferZen so OfferZen is a platform for like uh, getting jobs in tech I did a whole video about it and how I got my current job so we're not we're here now we're in the present moment but yes yeah, so if you want to check that out i'll put it up in the cards and down in the description so you kind of go there you fill in like information about yourself your qualifications your experience and all of that and then they put out your profile to companies and then the companies actually reach out to you so you can have like the different interviews and the different stages of interviews so there's usually like a meet and greet interview and then a technical interview and then a deeper interview and then it's just many levels of it so you get to do a whole lot of those and yeah that's where I got my current job and yeah I'm still really enjoying it I've been there for about a year and eight months now I feel like I've learned and I've grown so much and yeah that's all the jobs I've had throughout my life I've also done some uh, freelance work and other random things along the way but those were kind of like my official jobs and how I got them or how I got into them so i hope that helps and i hope it was informative entertaining and please guys if you can share like maybe how you got your first job or your current job and you think it might help someone please drop it in the comment section if you have any questions for me drop them in the comment section and if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up we're on the road to 30k so please also subscribe and i will catch you in the next one bye